14 Valkyries for Mark. What in the world? Giant arrow through the middle. Let's go. Zap quick. Welcome back, ladies and gentle fish. Here we go. Holy giant arrow through the base. Synchronic versus the tavern in hard mode. Cool. This is for the advanced cup, which means root riders are banned and flame flingers are also banned. Interesting. Here we go. Synchronic, the number one seed this year. They have a golden ticket. They got the first golden ticket. If we just look at stats, purely stats alone, this is without a doubt. Like one of, if not the best team in the current meta. Even if you don't like them, it doesn't matter. They are balling. They are doing awesome at Town Hall 16. And here we go. Fill up with the first attack of the match. Lots of dragons. You saw that giant arrow. We got the Town Hall. Overgrowth behind the Town Hall. Queen on the left side. She's chilling. Road champion on the bottom side. She's also chilling. Ready to go with a rocket spear. Seeking shield combo. This is crushed. Right? Or am I crazy? There's the last freeze. Pop the king ability. Pop the champion ability. Seeking shield. Does some damage. Rocket spear. Gonna do even more damage. One shot the air sweeper. Two shot. Three shot the scatter shot. And down go all the defenses. That's wrecked. That's wrecked. Philip takes out this base, makes it look easy as well in hard mode. Jeez. Clutch with the first attack for the tavern. Let's see if these guys can keep up with Synchronic. A lot of dragons, a lot of dragon riders, clone spells as well. All right, let's see how a Hydra, clone Hydra works in hard mode. Electric Owl, Battle Blimp, Dragon Riders. Warden ability does not catch any of the balloons, but oh well. Oh well. Freeze on the bottom because that queen is almost dead as heck. Spiky Ball, what the? Clone spells. Life Gem, normal stuff on the queen, bro. This guy doesn't have... He spent all of his uh, ores upgrading the Vamp Stash and the Spiky Ball. What did the clones do? Did they do anything juicy? I don't think so. Oh gosh. We got a free spell. We're out of spells now. His queen's dead as heck. Never mind. She's just beating on a wall. And after she's done with that wall, she's gonna beat on another. Oh, what? What is that wall choice, queen? Never mind. She switched to the skeletons. I'm invested. Now she gets off of that wall and dies. <laughs> as she was going for another wall. At least she was doing what she loves. Uh. Anyways, this fizzled out. Oh, I was having fun watching that queen. This fizzled out like crazy, bro. Mark's gonna get a defense in Synchronic, and they have an early lead here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We got two dragons, but they're gonna die to the air defense. And the Tesla. Not the greatest percent attack here, either. Down goes the last dragon for a 74%. Mr. Big Brain himself, Albert Einstein, is in with the next attack. Four healers, a lot of rocket balloons, a juicy fireball. Be anything else? And a rocket spear. Okay. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. Synchronic already have a star advantage. See if they can get another triple. Potentially boost their lead even more. We got two earthquakes, four invisibility spells to help this fireball. We're going to double quake right away. One invis, two invis, three invis, pop. Right to the Inferno Tower. Oh, man. CC stayed up. He didn't calculate for all the Builder Huts repairing it. Uh-oh. He's got no poison spell. This could be a problem. Stone Slammer is in. King on the right side of the base. Dragon coming out of that clan castle. He's got no poison spell. Queen on the other side. Sure. No battle blimp for the town hall. Queen's gonna have to go to ability early. I'm a little scared for him actually getting the town hall. Huh? We're gonna rage the queen, but she's not going inside like she was supposed to. Uh oh. Plan A is not working. Switch to plan B, my guy. Royal champion's in on the bottom. Bro, he's gonna one star. Maybe not. Maybe not. He's got another wall breaker. Can he use it for the queen? He used the last rage on the champion. Why? Oh, she's got ability. Dude, wall break for the queen. What are you waiting for? Wall break for the queen, you goofy goober. Why is he not wall breaking for the queen? He invis the champion. He's got rocket spear. Go, go, go. Freeze spell. Yes, rocket spear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Warden, shoot the town hall. 
Warden! Yes! Woo! He's got it! Why were you nervous, bro? I wasn't nervous. I knew he had it. That was actually so sketchy. Queen gets through the wall. Monolith might take everything out. There's the wall break finally. Didn't get any value. Could have used it for the queen earlier. She could have been in there helping out. It might have actually been a triple if he used the wall break earlier. Instead, it's going to be a 97%. But hey, a defense is a defense. The tavern can start to catch back up if they triple their next attack. Maximus Decimus. Nice name, bro. Sound like a Spartan. But the next attack for the tavern. Grand Warden on the left with two druids right away. Okay. Nice angry jelly. And a fireball. And a rage spell. What the? Fight the queen? With a rage spell? Yo, that's cool. Triple tap her. Down she goes. Finished her off quickly. <laughs> that's impressive. Down goes the Tesla. The air defense. Where are we going to fireball? Oh, Tesla might mess him up. No, he's got it. Fireball to the multi. Earthquake is in. Sure. Sure. That gets some okay value. Now we drop the queen. Warden's dead as heck. Angry Jelly trying to get some extra value. Apprentice Warden with the Archer Queen and the Unicorn. Cool. Was it worth it? I don't know. Super Witches, bro. How did I not even notice that earlier? We saw this in the last match we watched, though, and it was actually kind of OP. Although that one had a... Uh, Grand Warden still alive with the Super Witches. He just lost a Druid to a Spring Trap. King, Wall Break, Siege Barracks. Jump Spell. He's going to finish on the Town Hall. This is risky. With no Grand Warden. He's going to finish on the Town Hall on Hard Mode with no Grand Warden. What is this plan? Royal Champion on the right side of the base. There's the final Rage Spell. Freeze the Monolith. He's only got one Freeze left. One Poison is in. I'm scared for him. Champion pops ability. Valkyries from the Siege Barracks wrapping around the outer edges of the base. Queen going to take five ever to deal with these Lava Pups. We got Queen ability. We got King ability. Frozen Arrow, Invis Vial, Giant Gauntlet, Rage Vial, Combo, Wombo, Trombo, Extra Wizards on the outside of the base. King getting all the way toward the Town Hall section. Lots of bears from the Druids. Cool. Bro, Champion still getting more defenses. Is this going to work? Town Hall drops. But does the Giga Poison slow us down to make it a fail? Still has th all three Super Witches alive? Wow. Giga Poison definitely slowing us down. That extra wall breaker on the back end does not make it to the wall. Should have waited until that Warden statue was distracted. Uh. One, two Super Witches died. Only one left. She dies as well. No, he still has one. Is that a Super Witch? No, it's a big boy. It's a time fill. Big rip. Nice try, Maximus Decimus. Super Witches have always been known for time failing, though. Awkward. 92%. Simon has the third attack for Synchronic, busting out the Electro Dragons. See if we can clan clash with them today. King, Rage Foul, Giant Gauntlet, Healer Puppet, E Drag's already in on the top side of the base. Siege Barracks on the left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Healing Tome for these E-Durgans. We got a jumping spell. Gonna use it for that king to go toward the town hall, but he might just get stuck on enemy heroes. Well, champion's in at 12 o'clock. King is through the enemy king. If the Tesla wasn't there, he'd go straight for the town hall. He's actually gonna not go to the town hall because of that one Tesla. That's OP. King won't get the town hall. I can't help but feel like the jump spell's swag now because of that. Rage the E-Drags on the upper core. Upper side of the core. Super minions out of the Siege Barracks. Sure, sure. Queen goes to ability. This might be a little sketchy for the Town Hall. We got one Rage, one Freeze left over. We're actually going to use that Freeze or that Rage for the Queen. Freeze is in. Royal Champion ability should secure the Town Hall. Yes, sir. Good news. Queen goes straight for the Expo instead of the storage. What the cap? And it's wrecked. Not only is it wrecked, it's fast. What the? These guys really are. OP. Nice attack from Mr. Simon. The Tavern need to start getting three stars. 
Can they do it with this dragon attack? Let's find out. One dragon rider, two inferno baby dragons. Giant and queen on the bottom side of the base. I don't think that giant actually helped at all. It died before queen is even in range of any damage. Here we go with dragons from the southeast. Let's do it. Let's do it. Got a battle blimp. Heck yeah, we do. Pop the war and ability. Oh yeah. Queen popped her ability. Invis vile. Healer puppet. Sure. Tornado trap actually hits the blimp. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still makes it though. Oh. Kind of. Every balloon died instantly. The dragon rider goes the other way. He's not getting that town hall. We can rage some of the normal dragons though. They'll go take it out. Maybe. Maybe. Only one. Oh. Oh my gosh. He missed the freeze. Oh. We got an invisible. We got to invis the dragons. They get the town hall. Healer's switching off the queen because she's dead as heck. We dropped the king with the new skin. He looks kind of goofy with that new skin. Skeleton spell on top of a multi targeting inferno tower. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Champion's in on the left. Rage the champion. Still got another rage after that. Hog Rider Puppet, Haste Vile. Pop her ability. Drop another rage spell for fun points. Or not? You have a rage spell, my dude. Well, okay. Okay. King ability will surely get some good value here. We got a spiky ball. We got a giant gauntlet. That actually did a lot of damage. Dude, if the dragons would have just gotten like three more things, he could have had this. Big oof. Mr. Nova Bob. Too bad that blimp didn't work. Did he pop it manually, by the way? Like, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. King will grab a couple more buildings. That's gonna be like a 91%. Defense for Simon. General X is in a lot of super dragons. Okay. Okay. Super dragons from the top left. Here we go. Queen with a unibaby. King way over on the upper side of the base. We got a spiky ball. Pop that Warren ability early. Keep an eye on this spiky ball. Super minions on defense. No big deal. Super dragons will take them out. Spiky ball. Spiky ball. No. It's just going to go to the outside of the base. Oh well. There's another rage. Down goes the CC building. We had to fight all the CC troops anyways though. Yeah, I'm not going to be a huge fan of the spiky ball if it just goes to the outside. Rage on the upper side. E-Dragon out of the Stone Slammer. What the heck? Spiky Ball. Oh, it actually went back inside. That's clutch. Took out a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Nice. Freeze the Town Hall Monolith once more. Most of the Super Drags are dead. We're going to keep freezing, though, for that one Super Drag. Royal Champion, we send her right into the Barbarian King. That's definitely the best thing you can do with her. One more Freeze on the Town Hall. Monolith, Combo, Wombo, Trombo. That little, small HP Super Drag. Able to get through the Monolith. Woo! There we go. We just got to get the Town Hall. Go, 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 go. Champion still has the Spirit Fox. Able to go invisible. Down goes the Town Hall. Down goes the Wizard Tower. Down goes the Bomb Tower. And it is another Clan Clash Triple for Synchronic. Zero cools. With some Lalo. With an Electro Titan. And an early Warden Blimp. And a Fireball on top of that. Okay. Sure. That helps clear the corner for sure. Battle Blimp going all the way to the core. Is it Super Archers? It's Blizz and Super Archers. Interesting. With the clone spells, with the invis, with the rage. Actually getting pretty decent value as long as we get that town hall. Okay. Whew. Last invis spell. Kinda swag. I think so. Oh well. We clear a good chunk of the base. 30% and the town hall. 
deleted. Very nice. E Titan on the right. Sure, sure, sure. King. Queen. Dude, who uses Archer Puppet these days? What in the world? He's got the giant gauntlet at least. Hog Rider Puppet, Haste Vile, cool, cool, cool. Wizard to help funnel, that works. Wall break again? Or no? Don't know if he can get it to target the right wall anyways. King ability will get us through the wall. Never mind. And the wall breaker, he... Tr Oh gosh. We send the champion to go with the king. Queen dipped out to the outside of the base. Still has lava, lava hounds and balloons. But no spell support, no grand warden support. Not gonna have any champion support either. She's working by herself in the core. She's about to get wrecked too. We're gonna lala from the other side. How are we gonna take out the queen with the ground targeting expo there to shoot all three headhunters? Can they take her out? Oh my gosh, they got her. Wow. Rage tower on defense. Champion goes down. Scatter shots, two of them still alive. That might be too much for the balloons. I think it is. Ah. Lava Hound sitting on top of the eagle, distracting one of the scatter shots. The raged up one. Lots of balloons collapsing in. But these scatter shots, bro, they take everything out. And it's yet again a defense for Synchronic. This poor tavern team just are not able to get anything done on hard mode. Big ripperoni. Nice try to the homie. 14 Valkyries for Mark. What in the world? King on the bottom side of the base. Giant arrow through the middle. Let's go. Zap quick. Sniping so much stuff behind the town hall. All right. Let's see what 14 Valks can do. We're going to spam them all in from the top side of the base. This guy... Thinks he stars. Valkyries making their way inside with an apprentice warden, with the grand warden, with two druids. Champion on the right side of the base. Skeleton spells to help out. King took out the town hall. Still got the healer puppet helping the queen. Siege barracks, Pekka's getting some good value on the outside of the base. Lots of super minions out of the siege barracks. Royal champion gonna get some work done. We pop the warden ability, healing tome, eternal tome to help all these Valkyries cruise through the middle section of the base. With the jump spell, they make it all the way. To the scatter shot, take out the skeleton traps. What took out the dragon from the defensive clan castle? Was it the uh, poison lizard? Maybe. Bro, champion making her way through the core. Bro, this is wrecked. This is wrecked. 14 Valks. Hey, yo. Nicely done. Down go all those defenses. Mark makes it look easy in hard mode, bro. They got to rename hard mode to easy mode. That's a clan class triple and a synchronic finish with 14 stars. Heracles. Her 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 Heracles? Heracles. With the final attack of the match. Here we go. More super witches. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fireball on the right side of the base. Sure. A druid to help the Grand Warden. Take out the ricochet cannon. Then drop the super witches. Cool. Cool. King gonna make his way up. Warden gonna go with him and the super witches. We're gonna skip this air defense and expo for now. Wall break into the top side. Queen, siege barracks, another druid. Another frosty on a queen? What in the world? Because he used the uh, unicorn for the grand warden. Uh -huh. All right. Jump spell to help out. Cool, cool, cool. Poison spell is in. Rage spell. Siege barracks, wizards moving left. Wall breaker on the junction. Awesome. We use the Grand Warren ability so early. Grand Warren's dead as heck as he gets out in front like a like a dummy. Invis spell over here. Did that even help out much? A freeze and another freeze. It's getting a little chaotic now. He still has four druids and a royal champion to use. Drops two more druids onto a yeti. What the? Trying to rage through the town hall, but it's looking a little wonky over there. Royal champion's in on the left side of the base. Send two more druids, but they just go straight for the yeti. <laughs> We got an invincible Yeti. We finally get the town hall with the help of the queen. Raise the royal champion through the scatter shot. Too bad the druids are not helping the royal champion. They really want to keep that Yeti at full health. Champion moving through. We got her ability. She might be able to clutch up. But I don't know. There's a lot of stuff to get through. Could be traps as well. Super Witch takes the jump. Going to go for the monolith. That's going to help a ton. They can fight the Barb King as well. That'll be good news. So the royal champion can just clear the defenses. It might work. 
RC ability, boom, 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 go hog riders, go, get the cannon, get the builder hut, go for the multi-target inferno tower. Go, 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 he's got it, man. Super witches are actually working in hard mode at Tunnel 16, that's funny. We've been seeing a bunch of super witch attacks today, and I think like three or four of them now, in different matches we were watching. I think only one of them failed. Was it a time fail? I can't even remember, maybe. Queen gets through the wall. We got plenty of time to get the last three buildings here. 98, 99, 100%. GG's, but too little too late for your team. That's the only triple they hit. Synchronic take home the W. 14 to 13.